what's up guys, it's Ty Terry here and today we're playing some more Pokemon Showdown. It's the first time I've done commentary after a match and the first time I've done a theme team. This is a all Smurgle team which is something I've always wanted to try out. This first Smurgle is a max attack Smurgle with Stealth Rock, Metronome, Fake Out and Dragon Tail. And it has a Technician ability which means that it has a boost of attack if the move's got a power less than 60 which Dragon Tail and Fake Out both do. And um, yes, yeah, so I just set up the Stealth Rocks here and the Shuckle decides to use Shell Smash which means it reduces its attack but increases its defence. And this is an Anything Goes tier, um, so I assumed that the Rayquaza was going to be a Mega Rayquaza since that's the only tier it can be in. And I had to go Anything Goes because of the fact I was using 6 Smurgles. So I used a Dragon Tail, did a bit of damage and brought in a Smurg another Shuckle, I keep saying Shuckle and Smurgle the wrong way around today. And it does a good, decent amount of damage, so I figured I'd stick with that. Unfortunately, I do have the Poison on me, which is doing a bit of damage, which isn't good, but we can deal with it. <laughs> Unfortunately protected this turn so I couldn't do anything about that but so he had a chance to gain some HP back and I lost some more HP with due to the poison. I messaged the guy here saying please don't forfeit as I'm recording. I had lots of people forfeiting on me because I'd get them trapped in a like a sweeping position where I was looked like I was going to win and they got sick of it and kept forfeiting all the time in a way I kind of won because I got them in like a checkmate kind of position but I didn't feel like it was a worthy victory so I so I you know I just I, I had to keep battling until I got a battle like this where I actually managed to see it through till the end which is good a lot of people just saw the fact I had six smurgles and were like nah and just forfeited so unfortunately I drew out the Rayquaza and I died to the poison which isn't good I think next I bring out my special smurgle which has got ancient power draco meteor fire blast and moon blast this has the moody ability so it increases two stats and lowers one stat and has choice specs I go for the draco meteor obviously because it's a dragon type this is a fast special sweeper so it has max special attack and max speed it mega evolves as i expected it would anyway and it does a decent amount of damage but obviously i lose my special attack stages it goes for dragon ascent and takes me out which is what i expected to do anyway so i think the next smurgle i go for is my max speed and max attack smurgle this one's got belly drum aqua jet rest and sleep talk with the technician ability once again because aqua jet is a power less than 60 and I got, gave it a life orb as well so basically this aqua jet was boosted by a technician and life orb and you know it had the belly drum as well and rest and sleep toss. So it's kind of like the set you would use on a zoomer reel but obviously I adapted it for a smurgle and it's designed to be a fast physical sweeper so I was trying to basically pull off the aqua jet as it was a high priority move and I was relying on the boosts to basically take out the Rayquaza uh, unfortunately I got e-speeded by the Rayquaza and obviously Rayquaza is faster than a Smurgle so that priority kind of beat my priority and I lost that Smurgle. So then I go for my Destiny Bond Smurgle. Uh, this one's got a Focus Sash and this one has Destiny Bond, Pain Slip, Toxic and Blue Flare and has Max Special Dem max special defense and max hp so he goes for the e speed takes me down to one percent as expected i then destiny bond which is kind of a trolling move but i literally had no way of taking it out as it had e speed and basically obliterate everything i go for the pain split but it really makes no difference and you know the equation is going to take me out with fire blast and i'm going to take the equation down with me and i was absolutely hyped about that <laughs> so now i go for my Max Attack and HP Smurgle. This is a set that I usually use in a Breloom. I actually previously used it in a doubles battle against Violent Panda one time. So this one's got Spore, Leech Seed, Drain Punch and Substitute and has a Leftovers item and the Moody ability as well. It also has an Adamant Nature to give it a attack boost and a special attack decrease. So I send a Suckle to sleep and I get the boost in special defense but a decrease in accuracy which is kind of stinks. But So I went for the Substitute just hoping that Axie was going to get pumped up next turn and I, guess I usually use it with a Breloom but obviously I use a Breloom that's got the toxic heal hidden ability and a toxic orb which does increase more health and leftovers but obviously Smurgle doesn't have that ability so I had to rely on leftovers instead but basically how it works is I send the Pokemon to sleep and then leech seed it and I hide behind the substitute so I'm going to get health from the leftovers and from the leech seed basically and also it's got drain punch to do a bit more damage and also get HP regain from the drain punch as well 
The other Smurgle you haven't seen yet as the guy decides to make his move is my special defensive Smurgle with an assault vest. This has max attack and special defense. It has knock off U-turn, metronome and retaliate and has a moody has a moody ability as well. And I said, that's the only, that's the only Smurgle you haven't seen so far. I just thought I'd mention that whilst the guy was making his moves. He brings in another Smurgle. I leech seed it. It protects, so it protects itself from my drain punch. But overall, the leech seed does more damage than my drain punch anyway. My drain punch does about 10%, whilst the leech seed does around about 16, 17%. So I go for the drain punch again. He misses his sand tomb, which is good. Not that it really makes a difference anyway, because sand tomb's quite a low attacking move anyway. Plus, I have the increase in special defense. I can't, is it special? Is it a special move or is it a physical move? I can't remember. But anyway, it wasn't going to do much to me anyway. Shuckle's not exactly the, the hard hitter. So I'm basically just trying to get rid of his, these Shuckles as much as I can. And the Stealth Rocks are still doing really good damage as well. Unfortunately, obviously, I lost my Dragon Tail Smurgle right at the beginning due to poison. If I wouldn't have lost it to poison, I would have lost it to the Rayquaza anyway. So it's no, no big deal. Goes to the Earthquake, but thankfully it doesn't take out my Substitute, it only damages it, so it's probably going to take it out next turn if it goes for another Earthquake. I decided to Drain Punch rather than put it to sleep, just because, as I said, I'd, I had the protection of my Substitute, I wasn't really overly worried about it hitting me that much, so. The Moody's like boosting up pretty much all my stats. Um, it does decrease the stats still, it decreases one stat, but obviously if they've already had another boost, if it's boosted by, let's say, 2.5%, they're going to decrease, it still will be more than normal, if you get what I mean, so. So my speed's gone back to normal now, which is fine because I'm faster than a shuckle anyway. I mean, look at it, it's, it's not really very quick. Goes for the shell smash, so it's not going to hit, it's going to hit me even less hard now than it was before. Um, it's less, it's more bulky, but Leech Seed takes the damage anyway. I get a de I've got now a reduction in accuracy, but the only thing I was worried about not hitting was the Leech Seed. That shuckle dies due to stealth rock damage, which was lovely. I then go for another drain punch because you know why not you know the shuckle can't hit me so at so this point I was in a very stable position and I wasn't really too concerned about once once I got rid of the quake because I wasn't really that fussed anymore if I had to rely on one um, smurgle I would rely on this one because it's a really good sweeping set as I said as, as being a Bree Loop, the Bree Loom one is better, but obviously I was, I was using all Smurgles, so I had to adapt it a little bit. But the Toxic Heal ability with the Toxic Orb and Smurgle with this set is honestly amazing. I played against a guy and he basically obliterated my entire team with just a Bree Loom, and I was so peeved. But I messaged him after the battle on the chat and said, look, can I please use this sweeper set? I don't like stealing other people's set without asking them. And he said, oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, but obviously I adapted it for a Smurgle which worked quite nicely and I was really happy with it. As I said, I played lots of battles. I didn't really win that many. There's going to be some good bloopers after this video. Because there's a lot. Of, I said this is anything goes. So this is basically unlimited uber Pokemon, Mega Rayquazas, lots of legendary Xerneas, Evertal, literally everything. And really trolley sets as well were allowed. I, I played against six Clefables and that was a nightmare because they all had Magic Guard. So yeah. So that was the game and enjoy the bloopers.